Chris, what do you have? EG's. What's EG's? The flavor of the month is mango. Tango. Mango tango. Mmm. So good. What's EG's? EG's. It's a Tucson sub shop, actually, but the EG is their dessert. It's like a little slushy. It's a delicious slushy uh, on steroids. It's real fruit. It's re yeah, little bits of real fruit, and it's just kind of an ice cold kind of treat. And in Tucson, you need that because it's 100 and some degrees today. So this is how. No, mango. So I saw this thing online, uh, twist on waste valve. Apparently, the winds, for example, have used it to um, move water from the black. Uh, from the gray tank, sorry, into the black tank since they now have a composting toilet and they don't need their black tank anymore. So since we eventually want to get a composting toilet, we'll use this for that. But people also apparently use it to help flush out their black tank. Um, so you empty the black tank, you then have this thing on, you push this thing down so the water, so that the gray tank, when you open it, doesn't flow in out, it flows into the black tank. Um, and helps clean it out. So I think I'm gonna have Steve try that now. We'll see. Yay! <laughs> I think a lot of people keep it on. Or at least when they set up, they just always have it on. That thing should twist online. This thing twists so that you can have it in any direction you want. Right. Not just... I don't know how that... So it's on, we think. So, black tank. Uh, maybe open it? No, it's fine. Okay. And now open it. Okay, you can hear that. Okay, so now black is completely drained. I'm gonna close black, close the valve, open gray, then open black back up. Let's see how this works. All right, gray is open, valve is closed, black is open, and this should allow some gray water to flow into the black tank, which is now empty. Now both gray and black are open, valve is closed. Black is already orange. Okay, so that wasn't actually that bad. Um, the idea is just even out the tank. So we completely emptied black, then put gray water into black, so they're both about half full now. Uh, next time we'll probably e empty them both so they're all completely fresh, but it's a nice little unit, nice and cheap, and we'll probably be using that once we get our composting toilet. Uh, what, a couple months from now? I would like it next month. We'll see. Ne next month. So, yeah. <laughs> That'll be a video for sure. Yeah, for sure. What's that? This is a mango pale ale. I found it. Where were we? Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. I found it at Trader Joe's. I thought I'd give it a try. Oh, that's mango-y. Yeah, Love good it. or is it? No, it's no, weird. it's good. Okay, it's good. I like a little fruit with my beer. It's like sticking an orange in a uh, blue moon or something, but yeah. this just ups the ante because it's it's mango. Yeah. Okay, so yesterday, one of the first weirdisms we discovered inside our 12-year-old Airstream. It's old, things are gonna act up from time to time. Um, so Courtney had gone to work and I was just sitting in front of my computer in the nook and then everything just kind of shut off, or at least that that's what I thought. So naturally, uh, my first assumption was it's not our problem. It's probably the campground that just lost power. It's supposed to be 100 and some degrees. There's probably rolling blackouts in Tucson. Okay, no big deal. Uh, so I walk outside to make sure, or to try to determine whether everybody else has power or not. I didn't hear any ACs. <clears throat> so to me, that was a good thing. Every, everybody's AC is off, everybody's power is off, it's not our problem, I'll just go back in and continue working the best I can until the power flips back on. Well, it never really flipped back on, 
I texted Courtney and she suggested I go to the breaker box and see if I, if I could flip something or if something's been tripped. Sure enough, something was tripped. It was the Nook breaker. So all the electrical outlets to include the fridge, um, was tri that, that breaker was tripped. So I simply reset it and went back to work as normal. About 30 minutes later, it gets tripped again. So I'm really starting to think that this isn't the campground's problem. Oh, yes. And earlier in the morning, Courtney smelled. And, well, no, she smelled like burning plastic coming from the uh, bathroom area. And that wasn't right, but we didn't think, think much of it at, the, at that time because there were no other symptoms to go along with it. But now there is. Um, so I went up to the local Lazy Days uh, RV repair center and asked him a couple questions. I spoke to a Airstream mechanic and he suggested that I check the refrigerator, unplug the refrigerator, let it run on propane, see if the breaker gets tripped. Uh, so I did that and sure enough with the refrigerator unplugged and just running on propane, the breaker does not get tripped, all the power stays on, everything is normal, the AC works just as it always did. So we're thinking we may have a bad either refrigerator or a bad uh, cooling element or motor or whatever. Something is bad within the fridge so we'll probably have to get some kind of mobile <clears throat> RV tech out here to take a look at it for us. So weirdism, at least temporarily averted, and um, we'll see how expensive this fix is for us in the future. But we have AC and... Day in 20 years. Yeah. Tomorrow. So AC is important. AC is important. It's supposed to be 116 something like that uh, this weekend and 115, 114 starting on next week. So as long as we have AC, we can make do. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Cooking and eating breakfast off the grill. Avocado gluten free English muffins for me. Potatoes and onions for Steve. Cooked in bacon fat. Yum yum. Be your pillows! Oh, 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 oh. Look at the red! Let's see if they fit on these ugly pillows we already have. Arrows up or arrows down? Arrows up. from Appleberry Attic. Wonderful. I'm in the middle of my reupholstery project and I have a supervisor. Courtney doing what she always does when she has some free time. Knitting. What are you knitting? Really pretty shawl. Ooh, a pretty shawl. And I'm enjoying our new pillows. Aren't those beautiful? They're so nice. They're so much nicer than what we had. You want to give them a sneak peek of uh, what the video bit might be this week? Oh, maybe. So I'm just going to stand like this and just kind of woo. Woo. They match the pillows. How about that? That looks like a good sneak peek. Does that work? Yeah, that works. All right, perfect. And it doesn't look like the most comfortable position, but you can see out the window, huh? Why are we at Trader Joe's? We're at Trader Joe's for beer. Yeah, from for different kinds of beer, so you can pick your yes. own. I want to be able to make my own six pack. Yeah. I couldn't do that at Sprouts. No. So and we're here. Total Wine's not open yet. So we're sitting in the car like like schmucks. It is eight. Should be open. It's eight o'clock, and it is. See that? Maybe not. It is already 86 degrees out and it's 8 o'clock in the morning. It's going to be a hot one. Today is supposed to be the hottest day in Tucson for the last 20 years. So it should be fun. It's 8. Let's go race <laughs> hell.